and hop, and skip, and... Oh, that's a good one, Mike. That's going to be very hard to beat. Nineteen meters. That was nineteen meters. The next contestant, Peter No-Tail. Just call me Peter. <laughs> Good luck, Peter! Good luck, Peter! Stop there! You haven't got your regulation spiked shoes. Spiked shoes? Yes. You've got to have spikes. You've got to have spiked shoes to jump. Still, I can let you have a proper pair. Borrow these. Regulations, is it? Thank you. What he doesn't know is that all those spikes, those spikes are on the inside. <laughs> now we'll see what form Peter's going to show us. He's starting slowly, rather a ragged run-up, if I may say so, but it's the jump that matters, and he jumps, he falls! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Three metres, I'd say. These shoes are hurting. Ah, so you're blaming your shoe. Next time you'll tell us your tail fell off. <laughs> <laughs> he won't throw this far. <laughs> Nineteen meters! Once again, Mike's in the lead. A new cat record! This one's not. There's your shot. Well, Peter's going to have to make a great effort here. <laughs> great effort is right. It's as heavy as a mountain. <laughs> Give it another try, lad. There are those who got it and those who lost it. <laughs> Two meters, Mike's in the lead. The final event is the hurdles. Ready now, on your marks. I've got to win this one at least. I don't see how he can cheat at hurdles. And then oh, Mike takes the lead straight away. So confident he doesn't even bother to pace himself. But wait, a dark horse. Peter's piling on the speed. Easily passing Fritz and challenging Mike himself. Neck and neck as they come to the bushes and out of sight. After that great burst of speed, Will Peter take the lead now? The suspense is killing me while we can't see them. Who will come out of the bend first and into the hurdles? And it's Mike! Mike's way ahead again! And Peter... No, here comes Peter with a truly fantastic effort, piling on the pressure as Mike comes to the first hurdle and clears it easily, smoothly away. And another, running like a well-oiled machine. No, uh... A perfect precision machine. All no, uh... the hurdles aren't there. And the question on everyone's lips, how will Peter cope with the hurdles? Oh, and he nearly fell. The difference in technique. And the second. Oh, he kept his feet then by what seemed the merest good luck. Now he's running beautifully and gaining on Mike. This race is really breathtaking. It's Peter and Mike, neck and neck. No, he's passing Mike. He's passed. Only the last water jump now between Peter and victory. He jumps and... Oh, Peter's fallen. Peter has fallen. What a tragedy. Mike's uncatchable now, alone in the lead, coming up to the... But Peter's up. He won't give in. Muddy, half line. He races to the finishing line and finishes, and finishes second. Mike is the winner. Mike wins the Catmaster's gold medallion. Just a minute now. That kitten there, with a shot. I thought that was cheating. There are two different kinds of shot. No. A lead ball for Pete. Light balls for the others. And they're on his feet. Spike sticking inward, stuck there. By Why the don't you <laughs> shut up, you dim twits? I'm not so blind. I thought I saw cheating right from the start. Mean Mike was cheating. As umpire, I rule that he is disqualified. But why all the fuss? He'll say it was us. <laughs> no, I didn't. It was Bill and Bull. Oh, no. 
It's you who's the cheat, Mike. I declare you disqualified. And Peter is the winner of the gold medallion. <laughs> Golly, Do you Molly? hear them all cheering you? I always thought you were the best long before you won the gold medal. Oh, Peter, I'm so happy for you. You still haven't met my friends from Ridge Alley. You mean they're brave enough to move into Ridge Alley? Mike won't like that much. Oh, they're not cats. Peter Little Country Kitten was born without a tail. Peter saw repeat a no tail, for tailless males must fail. At least that's what mean Mike says. He'd ask where it has gone. Fell off. Said Bill. Cut off, said Bull. Mike laughed and preened his own. Mm. He does all right with that one, which proves tails aren't everything. Except for mouses. Pity little Peter, no tail. Like a ship without a sail. Chinese man without a big tail. A well without a pail. But things like that aren't used now. We manage well without. No need. Says Bill. No good. Says Bull. For once they're right, no doubt. La, 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 la. Oh, Peter, Peter, Mike with no tail. The Mike for tooth and nail. It doesn't really take a tail as the longest tail can fail. Meanie Mike tried cheating, but Grandma gave a shout. Not us, said Bill. But him, right, Bull? That's how they were found. Oh, la 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 la. Peter winning Peter, no tail. Who needs a great long tail? Peter doesn't need a long tail when he's got all it takes. <laughs> Fellow cats, we hold these truths to be self-evident. Those who look different are different. Is a mountain a hill? Is the Atlantic Ocean a puddle? Everything is what it seems. And here's your problem. All those immigrants, they take our all without giving us anything. Who can ever have too much cream? And who pays you? Share with us, they cry. But what do they do except bring appetites? Now lend us your tails, they will ask next, since some don't even have tails of their own. Lazy, useless, no. all sponges. So, what should we do? Who knows the answer, hmm? All right, up with those arms. Raise your paws. Go on. Law and order or tailessness. Yes, well, what should we do about Send it? Send them back to where they come from. Assisted passages to the country. You're quite right. I like the country. But I've heard there's no room for them. There's great poverty in parts of the country. And don't we have more than we need? I'd share with, with a cat. With a handsome Tom, I know. No, Uppsala cats. Raise your paws. Your tail's pretty. If you like tailless cats, well, if you can't beat them, join them or we can always cut yours off. I didn't mean that. And keep your paws to yourself. <laughs> ah, oh, I see how you think on this question. The motion is carried then. Peter will let them. No, no, no. What am I saying? We'll send all those foreigners home again to the country they should never have left. Who? Who? And how will we get them to go back? I've got a scheme. If you follow me. You know where we are. There's Upper Castle Street. When that docked Don Juan, that Manx Mocky, walks my Molly Silk Nose home like the great wet Wally he is. He'll come right past us here, and... And who else is there? The dog. But that bulldog's dangerous. Didn't Peter win the medal? Oh, Peter can run so fast, and he isn't going to stop running ever. It's just a little joke on Peter to make him run. <laughs> you got it. 
Bill and Bull are gonna look out for Peter No-Tail. I'll look after the Bulldog. Everyone else should get up the tree. 